I'm officially 24 years old. I have entered my mid-20s. Welcome to a week in my life. Today is Monday. On Mondays, I work from home. Mondays and Fridays to be exact. This is actually my birthday week. My birthday is this Thursday. I'm turning 24. I'm really, really, really excited to turn 24. I feel like I've just been like so over 23. <laughs> I just feel like 24 sounds so much more mature than 23 does. Like in my mind, 23 is you kind of still have like one step in the door of like college and sort of like adolescence emerging into adulthood. And 24 is like, okay, now you're like an adult, not an adult, but I always view 24. 23 is like you're an adult with training wheels and 24 is like you're still young and like you might not be good at riding the bike but now you're riding it on your own without training wheels i'm really excited to turn 24 and just honestly to tell people that i'm 24 i think 23 is like a weird number if i'm being honest it's just it's weird i'm going to the dermatologist in a little bit less than an hour i'm on accutane as we've talked about a million and one times and every month you have to have a follow-up appointment last time i went i was telling them that i was losing my vision <laughs> from my accutane and they were like go see an optometrist i never did i forgot but they actually did lower my dosage i put my accutane in here fun fact this is actually like a pill bottle for something else and accutane kind of is like birth control where you have to like push out the pill every day and i don't like doing that so i just do it all at once and then i taped this because i was afraid that i was gonna like mix it up with a different medication here's my accutane but we lowered my dosage from 60 milligrams to 40 milligrams and i feel like my vision is getting better like it's not as bad i think that it just dried out my eyes so much to the point where it was hard to see because my eyes were not like lubricated enough but we're gonna go to the dermatologist today see what she says i also have a review for you guys and it is on this monstrosity. This is a disgrace to humankind. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But these are the Reese's Peanut Butter Mini Eggs Unwrapped. You guys know me. Reese's Eggs are my favorite food of all time. It is truthfully a personality trait of mine how much I love Reese's Eggs. And these were so, so, so disappointing. These don't taste like Reese's Eggs. I did a full review on my Instagram story, but I'm gonna do one for you here. I love Reese's Eggs because two things, two factors. The chocolate to peanut butter ratio, there's so much more peanut butter than chocolate. And then the peanut butter is different than a regular cup. Like it's kind of drier. I've heard that they add more vanilla in it. It's just a different consistency than a regular Reese's cup. These don't have either of those attributes. These have more chocolate than peanut butter and the peanut butter is not that kind of like drier peanut butter that you find in a Reese's egg. So the entire point of this, gone, you know? If you've ever had like the mini Reese's, like the, the, the like actual Reese's cups, like the minis, it's exactly what it tastes like, but these have more chocolate in them. These might be the shape of an egg, but these are not a Reese's egg. These are a disgrace to Reese's eggs, and I was so disappointed trying them. I actually got two bags of them because I was so excited. I mean, I'm still gonna eat them. I'm just like, really? Also, another update. Oh my gosh, so many updates. For Christmas, I got this little gift set. It's a perfume sampler from Sephora, and then it comes with all of these perfumes, and you get to try them out, and then in it, you get a full size bottle, so it's like a certificate for you to redeem one of these perfumes in a full size and I did that last night I got the YSL black opium I'm gonna be honest I don't even think I tried all of these let's try this one today this is good girl by Carolina Herrera I didn't realize I didn't try all of them watch me like this one more See, every time I spray a perfume, it just kind of smells like alcohol for the first like five minutes. So like this just smells like straight alcohol. This one has almond, tuberous, I do not know what's how you pronounce it, jasmine, tonka bean, and cocoa. Oh, this is the one that looks like the heel. It does smell good, but I, I'm very uncomfortable with my decision of the black opium perfume that I got from Sephora. That shit lasts all day. I love it. I've just been working this morning, been working on, do I have to tell you guys like what I do for my job? <laughs> I don't think I do. I'm a marketing coordinator at a marketing agency. So what I do is I do social media, I do emails, and then I do some stuff with like the website and like more like data stuff, like keyword research and things like that. Like I work in Excel, I'll update a lot of metadata. I work in metadata, like I do so much of metadata. If you were to ask me how to explain metadata, I couldn't, but I do know how to do it. <laughs> so those are what I do for my job. I don't think I've ever fully explained what I do in my job. So yeah, that is what I do, surprise. Okay, this smells good. This does smell very good. I do like it, but I do like the one that I got more. I think it was such a good deal because I think that the perfume that I redeemed was like $160 because it was like the one ounce bottle. And I was like, that's a good deal. I don't know how much this was because this was a Christmas present, but it was like a hundred and something. But I think this is like a really great deal. They only do these little gift sets, samplers during Christmas time, but they also do them for cologne as well. So if you have like a boyfriend or a husband, or if you wear cologne yourself, I think these are like a great gift idea. And now I have like a bunch of little sample perfumes too. So a win-win for everyone, mostly me. I also have a bunch of laundry that I need to put away. So maybe I'm gonna run my little washing 
washing machine or dryer for like 10 minutes kind of fluff it all up and then put my laundry away i always say this but this is what i love so much about working from home on days like this because right now i'm just kind of in between tasks like i just need to get something approved for the next step so i'm just kind of like waiting around and i won't be waiting around for that long but it's nice that i'm not just like sitting at my desk kind of like twiddling my thumbs think trying to find something else to do because everything that i need to do today i've done it and i'm just waiting also i'm looking at my couch and i'm really paranoid that i stained it oh no i didn't this is like a little dent in the couch and this is a string i was so paranoid that i have like a huge stain on my couch i do have a stain right there that i need to wash so we've been covering it with the blanket we're gonna hide in my bedroom from the dryer so we don't have to hear it and i'm gonna tell you guys about my weekend i have been loving doing these little like weekend recaps in my vlogs on monday because i don't vlog on mondays but i do post tiktok weekends in my life videos when i'm doing something exciting so i posted one of this past weekend obviously my videos are a little bit pushed back compared to real time tiktok is more real time youtube is like a week later because it just takes long time to edit these longer videos so this weekend i had a really fun 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 weekend so on friday in arizona there's a thing called first friday in downtown phoenix and it's like this street fair where they have like food trucks and vendors and you know they sell bracelets they sell i don't know they have like music it's just stuff like that so we went to first friday it was just me and one of my friends every time well, i don't know why this chair keeps trying to turn every time i'm here the chair just like See, it's doing it. I'm not even, I'm not even doing anything. I don't know. Every time we've tried to go to First Friday, we end up just like kind of bailing and going to a restaurant in Phoenix. But this time we were like, let's get the food trucks. So we got the food trucks, we got tacos. And now there was this place that was like Hawaiian food. And I love like a Hawaiian barbecue. I love Hawaiian barbecue. There was one next to it. And we were like, we had just ordered. Then we saw someone order from the Hawaiian place. And we were like, oh, I wish I got that. So next time we're going to get that. And then we bar hopped a little bit. We went to like some cool cocktail bars. that had like lights everywhere. If you guys want to see what those look like, go check out my TikTok and my weekend in my life. I I try to like label the TikToks when you're viewing my profile. So this one says weekend vlog in Scottsdale, Arizona. So it's like easier to like find if you're trying to find something. So we bar hopped a little bit. We got some food. We got wings to end up the night. Cause you always need like a little, you need a little snack. And then Saturday we went to a spring training game, which is a baseball game. It was angels versus diamondbacks. So we got some hot dogs. I was so excited about the hot dogs. It was so fun. It was warm and hot, but like I didn't get sunburned. I thought I was going to, this is a self tan. So I'm not, I'm not naturally this tan, but I thought I was going to get like crispy sunburn. I didn't. And I I was very happy about that and then at night i went to dinner and we like went in the hot tub after and we were like drinking wine that was a really fun night and then sunday i was pretty much like editing videos catching up on all my work doing my typical sunday resets but i had a really fun weekend it was really really fun like i was just always doing stuff i'm still like tired from it i think that's like the issue of like i wish i had not i wish i had but like it'd be nice to just like sleep in one day but my body doesn't let me so not to complain but i had a really great weekend my last weekend of being 23 <gasps> my early 20s my last weekend of my early 20s I'm gonna be in my mid 20s in my mind. This is how I view it. Okay, early 20s is like 20 to 23 mid 20s is 24 26 late 20s is 27 to 29 early 20s is like a very big gap But I feel like because you're on call it just like that's how it makes sense in my mind But that's how I view your 20s feel free to disagree with me But that's just like in my mind how I categorize ages. I'll be in my early mid 20s Put my laundry away, did a little bit of work. Now I'm heading to my dermatologist on my lunch break. I always schedule them for noon, so I'll be able to go there when I'm on lunch on Mondays. But I also have a to-do list order that just came through, so I'm gonna package that up really quickly, ship that out on my way to the dermatologist. Also, my hair looks so shiny today. Love that. Anyways, <laughs> sad note, let's go. This is what I'm having for lunch. It's so good. I made this. Oh my God, is there a piece of my hair in this? <gasps> I mean, it's my hair, so I'm still gonna eat it, but that is gross. That is really, really gross. It's no boil noodles and then some like vegetable noodles, broccoli, mushrooms, and then the Trader Joe's teriyaki chicken. I did soy sauce, honey, gyoza sauce, a little bit of rice vinegar, sesame oil, I think. It's really good. I like it a lot. I made it last week. I still have to go on grocery shopping for the week, so I need to do that when I'm done with work. I might get the ingredients to make it again this week because I really liked it. I've been working on this one email all day. It's actually really funny. Like when I get emails, I typically mark them as like spam or I'm like unsubscribe, but you don't think that there are 
are so many people and so many round of edits that go into one just random little email. I never thought of it that way and then it makes me feel guilty when I unsubscribe to emails but I don't want promotional emails in my inbox. But it's really funny like how many versions of just one simple email there are out there. But aside the point, I was like going like this when I was working and I smelled my perfume because you know it was so close to my face. It smells a lot like the Prada Paradox one which I really really like. Like a lot of them smell really similar. I don't know if it's like my body. I don't know if that's weird to say because sometimes like your body heat and natural scents make perfume smell different. It smells really good but it smells just like the Prada Paradox one which was my second favorite one. Yeah that's what I'm up to right now. We finally sent out the email. I try to keep my work stuff very separate because I don't ever want to. I don't even know. I just want to keep it very separate. I want to be as professional as I can and this is more of like a me thing not so much like a work thing but hopefully like me just sharing like I work on emails. I work on social media. is like keeps it in the professionality. I don't think that's a real word. Anyways this was really really good. This pasta was really really good. I do like I said I want to go to the grocery store and I want to just get the ingredients make the same exact thing again because I really enjoyed it. That's my update for now. The work day is over. I went on a little walk and now we're about to head off to Pilates. My friend canceled on me earlier. She got waitlisted because she didn't sign up in time and she decided to cancel instead of waiting to see if she was gonna make it off the waitlist. So I'm going alone. This workout top is from Amazon. These are Lululemon leggings. Right there, I do my favorite Lululemon legging dupes. You guys can see how messy my counter is. Ah, but actually, I probably should pee before I go. I'm, I'm a small bladder girly. If I am anything, it is a girl with a small bladder. On God. Hard class, but doable class. Like you can see my face is very flushed from it. It was a sub instructor today, but I really liked her music. Like she was playing some like One Direction, Harry Styles, like everything that she was playing. I was like, I like this girl's music taste. So I'm glad I went to that class. Oh, wow. Okay, normally when I do Pilates, I burn like 150 to like 180. I burned 263 today. Not that I'm like counting calories and how much I'm burning. Just that shows me like this was a much more difficult class than I typically do, which I like. I was struggling, but I was pushing myself. I honestly, I feel like it's because I went alone. I don't know if this sounds like bad to say, but I feel like when I go with friends, I'm really comparing myself to my friends and workouts like, oh, they're like doing the harder thing. So I should do it. Or like, oh, they're not breaking, but I am like, I feel like I care less about my workout and I care more about everyone else around me, which is like, it's a me thing. It's not a them thing. That's not their fault. But going alone, I feel like I'm just more focused on what I'm doing. And I like going with my friends because because I like having excuses to see my friends and we catch up before and after, but it's nice when I'm alone because I feel like I'm so much more focused on what I'm doing and I'm so much more like in tune with myself and not my surroundings. Surroundings. So I think that's something that I really do need to focus on when I go with my friends that I just need to focus on myself doing it And just like I am like a serial like comparer constantly comparing myself to other people in every sense of the way I think it's hard not to I think a lot of us are but I really am realizing now that like because I've been going alone quite a bit Because my friend that I normally go with us that like had stuff going on which is completely fine But I'm realizing that when I go alone I just feel better about it than I do when I go with people So I think I still want to go with people but like I'm saying like that's something that like internally I need to work on It's not anyone else's fault so we'll work on it but we're gonna go home and eat some dinner and shower because i'm dripping in sweat normally like pilates doesn't make my hairline like sweaty today it did keegan this is off it's not gonna burn down your apartment it is off happy wednesday no happy tuesday you guys happy tuesday i woke up this morning ravenous i am so starving. I need to inhale this bagel. Like I could eat 10 bagels and I still probably wouldn't be full. Like that's how hungry I am. But good morning. Are you guys ever so hungry that you're like almost nauseous? That's how I feel right now. Toast fast, please. Please. We're going to, oh, I need to put my laptop in my work bag so I don't forget that. I'm not bringing lunch today because they cater us like a late breakfast on Tuesday. So I just kind of consider that like an early lunch, but I can't skip my bagel. I just, it's not something I can't do. I can't, I can't, I can't. Laptop goes in work bag. Oh, I have a Taylor Swift friendship bracelet in here. Oh, it's hey stop. Imagine if I wore a bracelet that said hey stop to work today. <laughs> 
little update for you guys. I've been home from work for quite a bit now. My editor who rough cuts my weekly vlogs, basically he goes in rough cuts the videos and then I go in and then like edit them where I like add the music, the text, any zoom ins, take anything out, add anything. I kind of do like the creative part. He kind of just does like the taking out parts where I stutter or repeat myself or little gaps in between talking. He's sick this week so I am going in and editing this video rough cutting last week's video and I really wanted to get my steps in for the day so I was like okay I'll do it on my walking pad. So I've been rough cutting it a little bit here. Here's the thing, two things that you guys told me to do. One, a lot of you guys told me to put my Apple Watch on my ankle so I could track my steps more accurately. It was not working. I tried probably like four different times and every time I had it on my ankle and I would walk, it would pause my walk like I would have like the Apple like indoor walk thing going for the workout and it would pause it after like 20 seconds and I was like what the heck is going on? So I just eventually took off my shoes, took it off my ankle, put it on my wrist, put my shoes back on then walk. How many steps do I have? What? I don't even have 6,000 yet. I've been walking for like an hour. I guess I haven't been walking that fast. But another thing is I was wearing these leggings and last week or the week before I got a pair of leggings and it was like a Lululemon dupe and I was like these are the best quality leggings are so soft. I was like these are amazing. I think I'm allergic to them. Last time I wore them my legs like would non-stop itch like every single time I would walk in them my legs were just super duper itchy. It actually gave me like a I don't know if this is weird to say like a rash on the back of my knees both of them and I was like oh, I don't know what that was maybe I just like got bit by a bug or something and then I wore them again when I was walking just now. My legs were so itchy it was uncontrollable so I just took them off and put a different pair of leggings on but yeah i'm not a fan of those i think i'm actually like allergic to that material i don't i don't have allergies maybe i do and maybe i just don't know about it but i've never really been like allergic to anything like that maybe it's my accutane something making my skin a little bit more sensitive but it was uncontrollably itchy so i will not be wearing those again but i have my therapy appointment soon in like 30 minutes i edited two days out of the five so monday and tuesday and i still left wednesday thursday friday to edit for this vlog and it's not super long of a vlog which is like nice for me but also like i get upset when my videos are like anything less than 45 minutes which sucks but it is what it is i also have been filming a sponsorship just lots of stuff going on i also want to go on like a little outdoor walk I find those are the best thing to get my steps in because i can't quit when i'm halfway through because i'm like i'm bored or i'm tired but i love my walking pad i realized i haven't used my walking pad in so long like i was like oh it's been in that closet for so long i haven't used it because i feel like just taking it out because i don't have like a desk or anything so it goes on my kitchen island i would really love a two-bedroom place but i don't have one this little blinking right there is driving me insane. Maybe turn that off but i'll link the walking pad and the desk riser down below for you guys definitely one of the best investments and this is one of the cheaper walking pads i've seen and i really 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 like it i need to start using it more like when I, on days that i work from home i feel like i haven't but but that's kind of what i'm up to today what i'm up to now it's kind of like a work 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 to, i need to plug my laptop in okay i got stuff to do good morning you guys happy wednesday today i'm gonna work from home i think i might for the rest of the week but today is my last day being 23 years old tomorrow is my birthday one of my friends got me this last year for my 23rd birthday but she forgot to give it to me like on time so we never ended up using it so i've had these for a year now and it's like a little two and a three that are sparkler like handles and i've had these for a year i'm like what do i do with them and i thought since it's my last day being 23 we would use them to celebrate my last day being 23 because i don't know when else i'm gonna use them so i thought we'd put them in my bagel this morning so we have a 20 and a three 20 wait but like I wanted to, yeah. It's gonna be funny. I don't know. So I have my bagel in my toaster and I thought we would put them in my bagels in the morning just for fun. Why not, right? But I'm working from home today. I've been doing some work this morning and I thought I'd take a little bagel break. I need my bagel to be done. I'm so excited to do this. I definitely threw away the instructions on how to do this. I could totally just fish them out of the trash can, but like what fun is in that, you know? Should I have like just like a cup of water on hand? Maybe just like splash it just in case it, you know, goes really bad. I'm so excited for this. I want to like record it. <laughs> do you start from the bottom or the top? This is not, have I just had these for too long? This is not working. Okay, so maybe I've just had these for too long. Maybe they're expired because they're not sparkling. This is so disappointing. <laughs> Sparkle. This is so anticlimactic. Waving around a fire. Shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Now it just smells like fire in here. Now I know that that was not, if I'm going to like rinse them in water, just, you know. Yeah, no, that was not fun. I was really expecting like, like sparklers. Woo. I didn't get that. <laughs> so, you know, kind of lame, but whatever. It is what it is. Anyways, now what? I need to get more cream cheese. I want to go grocery shopping today because I still haven't gone grocery shopping for the week, if I'm being honest. I still have not done it. Thankfully, over the weekend, I got bagels at the grocery store when I was there. I think I went on like, oh, I went on Friday because I got like sushi from the grocery store and I was like, oh, I should probably just like pick up some bagels. And I'm glad I did that. But I'm like running out of cream. I wish I had gotten cream cheese on there. I'm really upset about 
Now it's supposed to be like fire in here, but I have a meeting that starts very, very soon. And by very, very soon, I mean 15 minutes, which really is not very, very soon in corporate America world. I've been working on some stuff for like social media for my company. I'm not gonna lie. I know I keep saying it, but I was really expecting more. I was like, this is gonna be sick. Like my last day of 23 with the fire. No. Sparkles. No. And then in a bagel, I was like, that's gonna be hilarious. No. Anyways. Good morning. Not good morning. We've already said good morning. I've been in back-to-back -back meetings for the past four hours, which like I guess like four hours isn't even that long, but like back to back. My brain is numb. I'm hungry. So we're gonna go to the grocery store. We're gonna get cream cheese because I ran out of it. And we're also gonna get I'm now obsessed with like grocery store sushi, I guess. So we're gonna get that really quickly. I'm so excited for food. I really love I always says I love working from home because I can just like take my lunch break and just go to the grocery store, get some food, edit a video, go to the gym. Like I just like it so much more because my time is my time. So I'm glad I'm working from home today. Yay, also, I'm like really into my hair today. But like, I just kind of woke up and it looked like this, and I was like, why does it like low key look really cute? <laughs> I've been super into grocery store sushi as of last week. I also got some new soy sauce that like looks like, wow, that went by really fast, but it looks like the sushi places, but like, wow, there's barely anything in this. Let me show you what I got. So last time I got one of these. Okay, I love a Philly roll, which is salmon, cucumber. Normally cucumber, this one has avocado and cream cheese, but the fish didn't look super fresh in this one. So I also got the fresh salmon roll, which is the same thing, but it has no cream cheese in it. And the fish looked a lot fresher. Fish, fresher grocery store sushi, like all these Things are very hard to say out loud. Let's try the fresh salmon roll, which is just salmon and avocado. My mouth is literally watering, it's hard to talk. I don't have any chopsticks either, so. I will say, last time I was undecided which one was my favorite roll, but last time it definitely was the smoked salmon roll, which is what I consider a Philly roll. This time they had a Philly roll, but it was crab and cucumber and avocado, which I was like, that's just not what a Philly roll is. A Philly roll is salmon. So we're gonna try the smoked salmon roll. I still think that one is the best one. That is my review. I'm not my lunch. I should have just grocery shopped at the store that I was at, but I do want to go to Trader Joe's, so I'm going to go to Trader Joe's later today. Okay, next up, I did some more work, and now I'm going to head over to grocery... Sh what is with my talk? I'm going to go to grocery shopping at Trader Joe's. I also just sprayed two perfumes. So I was watching... There's this TikToker who I love to talk about her dating life. I think her name is Oh Pretty Things. Something like that on TikTok. I could never share my dating life like that because I'm scared of people seeing it, but I love that she does. And she talks about perfumes a lot. And I was talking about in one of my last vlogs how I've got both these perfumes from Finery. So I used the I'm a Musk, and then I topped it with Not Another Cherry. I've never, like, mixed or layered perfumes before but not another cherry is a dupe for a tom ford cherry perfume and she was saying that perfume is amazing for layering so i was like okay let's try these together and it smells really good i like them come up this is my first time ever spraying two perfumes at once but she says that like the cherry perfume from tom ford which like i said that this is a dupe of is amazing for layering so i just did it and i really like it but we're gonna go to trader joe's and that's the update for now but i've been working throughout the day sometimes i don't like show you guys that just because you know i want to keep that private and i want to be respectful of my company and like all that type of stuff i share my life not my company's business you know but i've been working on stuff one thing that i have been working on for a couple months now is happening tomorrow so excited nervous we'll see how that goes but boom i also got another email sent did some social media stuff had meetings all morning i feel like i need to start giving you guys updates on kind of like what i do but not what i do at the same time like the concept of what i do but maybe not the details of it because i want to include you guys and like i don't want it to be like weird and like suspicious but i also like there needs to be that level of separation for every Everybody's sake involved, but we need to go grocery shopping. I think I'm gonna get the same ingredients to make that little like stir fry that I made last week if Trader Joe's still has it because that was so good. So let's hope that they still have that stuff. So my current dilemma that I have is the main ingredient for this stir fry recipe is the noodles. They didn't have the noodles. And so I got all the ingredients and then last I was like, okay, I just need the noodles, I can't find them. So I went to ask someone and they're like, oh, we're all sold out of them. So I was like, do I put back all these recipes and try to figure out something else to eat or do I just make a stir fry without the noodles? So I guess I'm making a stir fry without the noodles. I got some spinach, I love spinach because it wilts down into nothing and it's just a great way of getting in some fiber. Is there, wait, there's fiber. <laughs> I'm like, wait, there is fiber, right? Can you imagine? It doesn't say fiber. Oh, it does. Just a great way of getting in some vegetables and you don't even really realize it. I did get this vegetable pasta. It's the 
Bari vegetable pasta. Um, this stuff like wilts down into nothing. It kind of looks like the consistency of caramelized onions. So it's not like I could really use this as a substitute for the no boil noodles that you need for this recipe, but I do include them and add them. But they're just like, they really wilt into nothing, just like the spinach. So it's just kind of like a vegetable stir fry. I also got some bagels. The Trader Joe's bagels are my favorite. I also have some other like bagels that I get from the grocery store, but like nothing compares to a Trader Joe's bagel. I also got some broccoli for my little stir fry. I like these two because you steam them in the bags in the microwave, so it just saves some dishes. I also got more of these because I finished them yesterday. Jalapeno and cream cheese, crispy wontons. These things are so, so, so good. I got this tomato and basil marinara sauce. I really like the recipe where I just do a chicken breast and then some marinara sauce in my crock pot. I think it's so good. I've been eating it for a couple weeks now, so I wanted to have a marinara jar on hand for when I want to make that next. Also some soy sauce because I'm always running out of soy sauce. I got a chicken breast because I want to add chicken into my little, because now it's really just a vegetable and chicken stir fry. Honestly, I was going to add tofu, but then I ended up putting the tofu back. And one of my coworkers told me that she does this in her crock pot. She will take a chicken breast and then cover it with chicken broth and then shred it. And it's just like chicken with no flavor or anything to it. Like not no flavor, but it's just juicy chicken that doesn't have marinara or anything like that in it. So you can really combine it with anything. So I thought that would be a nice thing to combine with my stuff we got going on here my vegetable stir fry and last but not least we got some mushrooms for my vegetable stir fry i'm still gonna do the same like sauce and everything i'm like so upset about the no boiled noodles i was so excited for those but i got two things of chicken broth for that hopefully it turns out good because i did i did prepare ahead mostly vegetables honestly but since it's already halfway through the week like i've, I've made it like i just i've been girl dinnering really hard like yesterday i had some crispy wontons and then i had some buffalo wontons from trader joe's and so i've just been you know girl dinnering and it's been working out fine for me but Put my birthday away. Oh, I already had an extra thing of marinara. My peanut butter was in the way of it. I guess I should. That's my issue. Is that I never know what I have when stuff is pulled in it. Well, that is my haul. I'll probably make this for lunch tomorrow, and it's gonna be super yummy. I'm excited. Happy Thursday. Today is my 24th birthday. I'm working from home today, which is so very, very nice. So I'm in my like pajamas, kind of. I have a meeting. I have to check my watch. I forgot to put it on today. I have a meeting soon. The sun is coming in. Very beautifully. I love a little morning light. Oh, that's so pretty. I love when this happens. Anyways, I actually had one of my friends come over yesterday. And this was the gift they gave me. Isn't this so sweet? It smells so good. It smells like lavender, obviously. But like, no, literally me, Taylor Swift candles. What more could a girl want? It smells so good. I'm going to be like lighting it today. Actually, I think I want to put it. I did light it last night, but I think I want to put it under my candle warmer. You can still put things under your candle warmer after you lit them, from my understanding. And the candle warmer helps it melt all the way to the edges. So we're going to have this going, my candle warmer. I'll link this candle warmer down below. And then I also have another, I have two more. <laughs> I'll show you guys them. These ones are really, really pretty because like this kind of like, I don't like wavy glass kind of makes this like really pretty like light rays almost. So I'll link these ones down below for you guys as well. I love a candle warmer. It essentially makes your candles last a lot longer. They smell stronger and like there's no risk of fire. So this one also has a timer on it, whereas the other one in my bedroom doesn't. Love this one. And then I also have it over here as well. Woke up to a bunch of like happy birthday texts, which is really nice. It's always like a lot of pressure being like, are people going to remember my birthday? I don't really like the attention of it, but I just feel like there's a lot of pressure on birthdays for it to be like a really great day and you don't want people to forget it like I don't know like it's, it's just weird because I don't like it but then at the same time I'm like but I don't want people to forget it you know the sun is like already reaching here that's crazy it never maybe I'm just not here during this time of the day usually because I'm usually in the office right now but yeah oh my bagel's done I'm so far starting off on a really good day. We'll see if I cry today because I'm a Pisces. I feel like it's like a thing to cry on your birthday, but I didn't cry on my birthday last year. I think last year was the first time of like me being like conscious, you know? Cause like I, maybe I didn't cry on my birthday when I was four, who knows, but I don't remember that. But last year I didn't cry on my birthday. Last year was a really great birthday for me because I didn't do much, like I didn't make like a big plan on my birthday. I think that's the move, like to have your birthday be low key. So my birthday plans, my mom and my stepdad are taking me to dinner at a restaurant called Maple and Ash, which is like kind of like a fancier restaurant, honestly. My sister's gonna go, but she had like a work obligation that she couldn't get out of. And then this weekend, my friends and I, I was just like, let's just do like appetizers and drinks and then like go out of, like just kind of like the regular 
regular thing. I don't know. It just make it an excuse for us all to get together. I don't need it to be like a my birthday type of thing. It's just an excuse for us to hang out. And that's all I want. So choked on that gosh but so far i mean today has barely started but it's a good day so far have my cream cheese have my trader joe's bagels can't complain like i was saying something that i've been working on for a while is happening today for my job so i'm a little nervous about that i have a meeting in just slightly over an hour but i already prepped everything for that meeting yesterday which was kind of a sleigh so i'm just vibing until that meeting and it's like very overwhelming responding to so many texts on your birthday because <laughs> like sometimes i'll see them like right when they come in but i don't want to like respond within two seconds of someone wishing me a happy birthday like i'm like that feels kind of weird normally i am a very fast responder like anybody that knows me i respond to text within like two seconds like i just i'm always on my phone especially with like what i do for a living or i guess is youtube now considered what i do for a living because i have other jobs i get like i still you know it's still a form of income i have no idea but because i do social media stuff i feel like i'm always on my phone and so i respond to text really fast but i feel like it's weird to like respond to it like happy birthday text really really fast mm, i love these so much that's all for now though couple hours later my meeting ended up getting canceled like two seconds before which whatever but i've been working a ton and i want to start prepping that thing that i was gonna make for lunch my vegetable stir fry with bone broth or chicken broth chicken <laughs> we're, i'm very curious to see if this is gonna turn out well okay we're gonna put our crock pot up i'll link this crock pot down below as always you guys know this has been like my hyper fixation this crock pot so i'm debating if i want to just put in the full chicken breast or if i want to cut them into cutlets like i typically do i think i'm gonna do a cutlet kind of moment i just hate touching raw chicken will i ever stop complaining about it most likely no i'll probably never stop <laughs> my project thing that i've been working on is gonna start in 20 minutes so we have to do this kind of Speedy. So when I say cutlets, I basically just cut my chicken breast in half. It makes it cook faster. One thing that I personally hate is like the fat on a chicken. It grosses me out. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spray it. We're gonna add our little chicken stuff to it. This is just one breast cut in half. And then we're gonna use, I did low sodium. I'm gonna shake it a little bit. Low sodium chicken broth. And we're just gonna cover the chicken with this. And I'm gonna like kind of flatten out the chicken so it doesn't need like as much to cover it all. That's also why I did cutlets, so I didn't need as many of these. Let it put it on high. Set a timer for three hours. Three hours. This kind of smells oh, yeah. like cat food. I don't love that. You oh, after opening, you can only use it for seven to ten days. Oh, okay, so I guess I'm gonna be making quite a bit of these. And wait, I'm gonna put some more in then. So I don't think I'll be able to use all of this in seven to ten days. And it's not fully covered. Okay. Yeah, this smells like cat food. Wet cat food. Like, ew. Is it supposed to smell like that? I feel like I've used it in the past and it didn't smell like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I just keep popping in and out with like update. I've been doing some more work. And here's a thought that I had. I was walking on my walking pad for a while. I walked for, I just got a message. You guys know that sound. I'll turn my volume off so it doesn't trigger anyone. Here's the thought that I was having on my walking pad because you know, walking on my walking pad and here's my view. These shelves that I have and I love these shelves so much. But I was thinking about it and I was like, I really love these three right here. Like this, these three are definitely the vibe that I want for my apartment. And I was like, why don't the rest of the shelves kind of have that vibe that I want? And I think it's because these are more like neutral and cool tones and i think i just need to get rid of the yellow in this i love that this says tell me a story i think these are so cute these i all got them from goodwill i think that i want to go thrifting and find some more books that have like spines that are very pretty that i can put here that are more neutral i think i want to do like more green as well and then i think this picture frame i love this picture frame as well but i just think it doesn't it's not the vibe that i was going for and i think that's kind of what is messing it up like i think the rest of it is fine maybe this wooden thing but i don't really think it's that important but i think the rest of it fits it's just kind of the yellow that's throwing it off a little bit like if we just i don't know whatever i do i want to get it from goodwill or like thrift it or find some kind of like affordable i don't want to spend more than like 15 dollars doing this i also was thinking i think i want to switch out this print and the blanket i think that i want to switch out the blanket for my people I'm wearing my tennis shoes right now, so I don't think I want to do this right now. But I think that I want to switch these out. The reason why I bought so many prints for this frame is because I just wanted to switch it out whenever I randomly felt like it. So I'm deciding which one would be best with this pink blanket that I have. If you guys have been watching my videos for years, I used to have this in the background of my videos all the time, like that little like white couch that I had. This blanket was in the background of it. This was my sister's blanket for a while. And then she was like, I don't want any more. And I was like, I'll take it. 
So this is from Target from like years and years and years ago. But I haven't used this on my couch at all. And so I was thinking I could do it. Have like a little pink blanket there and then change it. I have this one print that has like clinking like wine glasses or like cocktail glasses, which isn't my favorite print that I have, but I do think it would go with this very nicely. That's really why I wanted to have a sad beige apartment, some people call it. I just like the neutrals of it because you can switch out things and like kind of change up the colors and there isn't really much else I have to do. I don't think that pink is like the most, it doesn't fit my apartment the most, but I don't think it's that important, honestly. It's just like fun to switch it out for like a couple months. Like I've had this and this blanket since the beginning of the year and I really, really like it. Before I had like a print with like a field, like I just, I like switching it up a little bit. So I think that it's fun to have kind of like a neutral place so you can switch out the colors easily. I will say my like accent color is definitely green and I do a lot of green stuff. And I think that I might want to get like green books for that, but I don't really know what, like I'm like going on this tangent, but I just thought it'd be fun to have like the pink blanket here because it was feeling like, I've been feeling I'm very nostalgic recently. I had to switch up the location because that chicken broth smells like cat food and it's making my entire apartment smell like cat food. So I'm in here and I have that candle under my candle warmer. It smells much better in here. But I've been feeling so nostalgic recently. I don't like, I'll just get these like random flashbacks of when I was a kid. Someone and I were like talking about watches the other day and I just had this random flashback to like the watches that my parents used to wear when I was growing up. Like they used to have like the same watch every day. And I haven't thought about that in like decades. I mean, I'm 24, so a decade. I haven't thought about that in like over 10 years and I just like randomly was like oh my gosh like I remember like exactly what their watches looked like and then I was thinking about my childhood home and I was thinking about the layout of it visually I can go through my childhood home open every single cupboard and tell you exactly what's in it open every single closet and tell you exactly what's in it. like if you're like oh fine extra batteries I could tell you where to look for that in my childhood home I was thinking about like when you'd walk up the stairs like there'd be photos of my parents wedding and like photos of me and my sister from when we were little kids and there was this table and it had like plants I was just walking through my childhood home in my own head as an adult and it was really weird and then yesterday I was driving home from Pilates and I was thinking about the grocery store and just for whatever reason the floor plan of the grocery store that I went to as a child was in my head of like when I used to go grocery shopping with my parents because like I was too young to stay home alone and I remember the path that we'd walk where like the bread was and where the meat was and where like the produce was like and I don't I haven't been to that grocery store in so long because we like moved away from where we used to live and I don't know if any, nobody probably cares about this but I've just been having these random really intense and really vivid flashbacks of things that I used to see as a child and I feel like I'm viewing them like through my like adult lens and I haven't thought about them in so long and it's so it's almost like eerie like I feel like like a ghost walking through these places but it's in my head but it's so vivid I don't know if that's like a thing maybe it's like with me getting older or something like maybe there's like a subconscious reason that's going on but the watch thing really like triggered all of these just random and it's not even memories that I had but it's just things that I used to see as a kid it's so weird so that's been like my nostalgia it's been very comforting, but also like uncomforting, you know, it's been like very weird I walked on my walking pad for an hour and I have 5,000 steps So I need to hit 10,000 today and I probably won't be able to go on a walk outside because my dinner reservations for my dinner are at 530 My family eats pretty early. So that's just what we're doing. I still can't get over like the nostalgia of it all We have quite a few packages. I was about to say it feels like Christmas, but maybe I should be like it feels like my birthday <laughs> I think I bought all these except for one and I'm so excited for I'm so excited. This is hard candy and Girl Scouts. And if this is Girl Scout cookies, I'm about to scream in a good way, obviously. It might be like Girl Scout candy cookies. Ooh, what is this? Is this like a dog toy? Oh my, this is not a dog toy. A get ready with me headband. Look, it's a Girl Scout cookie. Get ready with me headband. Will this fit on my head? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is hysterical. The way that my hair is right now makes me look bald. This is so I love this. And they also sent me a little like makeup. It's hard candy. Oh, it is makeup. Makeup is about sweeter. This is such a big bag. I'm like, what is in here? It's a nice little bag. What is your guys' favorite Girl Scout cookies? I love tagalongs. Ooh, <gasps> they sent me press on nails. I've literally been talking about probably just to myself. I don't know if I've said it to you guys that I've been wanting to do press on nails because I was talking about one of my videos how I stopped getting my nails done. I don't think I've gotten my nails done in years. I only get them done for like trips or events or like just special things. It's so expensive, and I everyone was saying. I made a TikTok about it. Everyone was saying that you should do press on nails. And so I've been wanting to do press on nails. So these are like red ones. And I love a red nail polish. Red nail theory. What is this? Ultra soft reusable powder puffs. This is so, I'm like, there's so much in here. Wait, you can't even see. Can you see that? I'm like, fan, I'm freaking out. A Girl Scout cookie glaze, velvety smooth lip color. This is so cute. 
cute. A refreshment canvas primer rose and chill applicator. Oh, this is so cool. Another velvety smooth lip color. This is in Thin Mints. The one before was Trefoils. Trefoils? I've never had these before, those candies before. What is this? Oh, a Thin Mint inspired sweet hydration repair lip oil. Should I put it on? Oh, wait, I'm going to be honest though. I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate and mint, so I wonder if this is going to be chocolate and mint or if it's just minty. But I've never had one of those like lip oils every, like these type of lip oils. It's not too like, I actually like this. This is not like, um, I was afraid it's gonna be like too chocolate and minty. It's very subtle. I actually don't mind that at all. I'm excited to use this more often because I see people use these like lip oils all the time and like they make your lips so glossy and I've never used one before. Oh, they also gave me another one, a coconut caramel, which I think is the, the Samoas. Do they not sell tagalongs anymore? Because I feel like I never hear people talk about tagalongs anymore. This is a purple one. This is so fresh. I'm gonna smell this one. Oh, that smells good. I, this is, this one's gonna be my favorite. This one smells really good. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna use these today when I get ready. Oh, they also sent me some some, like little nail stickers that is so cute Ooh, we got some eyeshadow palette i cannot believe there's so much in here thank you so much to heart candy and to girls Hot cookies we have a mint explorer eyeshadow palette look at that oh my gosh i'm struggling open this wait this is ooh, that's pretty look at the green sparkly oh <gasps> can you imagine for st patrick's day yes yes Yes, this is the caramel queen eyeshadow palette. Ooh, they like the purpley one. I love these I think this one or maybe the next one might be my favorites because these are definitely more like tones that I feel like I Gravitate towards and then the last one is the buttery bestie eyeshadow palette. I am pumped for There is the most beautiful blue eyeshadow sparkly. I don't really wear a lot of sparkly colors or like I guess colorful eyeshadows Maybe I should start. I love this palette. These are all shades that I tip obviously not like the blues But like shades that I would go for in a heartbeat. I am so excited. I'm so excited for this one. Should we swatch it? Ooh <gasps> already okay so it's definitely like a glitter do you see how it's kind of like like it's definitely not like a swatching type of thing so i'd have to like it's kind of staying on my figure actually so i would definitely it's like a glitter that you would pack on maybe like get it wet type of thing because it's definitely like it's staying on my finger and it's not so much doing a full swatch so you just have to be very careful about the way that you use it like you have to be intentional about it but thank you so so much to Girl Scout and Hard Candy. Like this is, oh my gosh. I think the things that I'm the most excited about are these little lip oils because everybody uses these kind of like lip oils and I've never had one before. This one smells so good. It does not smell good. It's my trash can that just opened. I should take it out. I also got my Accutane. We're staying with 40 milligrams, which is what I was on last time, the first time I did Accutane. We ranked it up to 60, but it was just too much for me. So we're going back down. I'm also so excited for these nails. I'm so, so, so excited. I really want to get better at press on nails. We got a Sephora package, which is the perfume that I got. I really regret Regret not getting my little like free birthday gift with it. There's honestly some things that I've been wanting to try from Sephora, and I'm thinking maybe I should just bite the bullet and buy them. I've been wanting them for so many months now that it's like, okay. Sometimes I feel like I have to justify spending money on things, and I feel like me wanting these things for a while now is justification enough. Samples wise, I got Chanel number no. five, which I've actually never smelt Nichelle number no. five. So we're gonna do it. I always feel like movies like rich old woman wear Chanel number no. five. Okay, so at first it definitely smells like that alcohol scent that I always talk about. So we'll give it a minute to marinate on my skin, but it's already smelling old lady-ish. I, I get the idea like rich old woman. I also got the Peace Out Instant Pore Perfector sample from the Peace Out brand. And then what I got was the perfume. I think I shared this earlier. The perfume that came in that little like Christmas sampler set. I wish they had those year round actually, cause that is such a great deal. And I was talking to someone about it and they were like, oh, I really want to get that. And like, they don't sell it anymore. Essentially, I think I was talking about this earlier, but it's right here. No, I was talking about this earlier. All the samples of perfumes, and you get to pick the full size of your favorite one. So I chose YSL Black Opium, which I couldn't find it on the website. So I had to put in like the barcode number or like the SKU number. And then I was able to find it there, but I couldn't find like a... Okay, this is definitely a smaller version of it. Obviously, I just sprayed Chanel number no. 5, so I'm not going to spray this. And I don't think these would like go good together. But this is going to be my new signature scent. It's definitely more of like a warmer, wintry scent. Not so much like summer airy light. So I'm curious to see if I'm still going to like it in the summer. Summer is definitely coming up, but by far it was my favorite perfume out of all of them every single time i wore it i was just like i'm obsessed with this scent so i'm so excited and it's the one ounce so it's definitely a little bit smaller like in comparison to my hand if you want to see my head but i think this is like a perfect size okay what do we go next i think i know what these are i'll link all this stuff down below for you guys that i bought oh they really shoved some stuff in here so i got i really needed another pair of black leggings and the ones that i got earlier were like giving me an allergic reaction so i got these ones these are not nearly as soft if i'm gonna be honest i'm kind of no 
I think I'm gonna return these. I already know that I'm gonna return these. I already do not like these. Okay, so these are from The Gym People, which has my favorite brand of workout tops. And these were the highest rated leggings. These ones have a pocket. They're already not that soft. And they have a band, like an actual like band. Can you see that right there? Like a band in the leggings. And I don't like that because I feel like that just kind of, it's not that comfortable. It's kind of like when the whole top band just kind of is like suctiony. No, I, I'll try them on, I'll give them a chance, but I'm already anticipating that I'm going to return them. And then I also got two pairs of socks or two sets of socks by accident. So I need to return, is this not what I thought it was? This is not what I thought it was. I did order socks, but apparently these are not the socks. These are some running shorts. I wanted some running shorts that I could wear on my little walk so I don't have to wear leggings all the time or when it's hotter outside and not have to wear biker shorts either. So these are from, what is this brand? Soothe Feel. These are the highest rating ones that had these like little shorts under them. I don't like the built-in underwear. I prefer to like a little shorts or Spanx under them. So I got those because it's just like better chafing. And then this has like a little zipper in the back pocket that you can put like your keys or something. They're very wrinkled, but these were the highest rated ones. So I will definitely try them on. I'll let you guys know what I think. I thought they were socks. Are these socks <laughs> in this giant bag? What did I order? Okay, so yeah, no, these are all, are these, these are both socks? Yeah, these are both socks. So I accidentally ordered two sets of socks. My shoes have been rubbing, maybe I just need new running shoes, which I really don't want to buy, but my shoes have been rubbing against my heel a lot. And so I wanted to get these type of socks that had kind of like extra cushioning on the heel. I almost just stabbed myself with my fork. This is not a fork, a knife. This, this is not a knife either. This is scissors, scissors. These are scissors. How is my perfume going along? I don't like it. I could definitely imagine like a rich old woman wearing this though. So I got a couple of pairs or brands. I think that these are accidentally mint and that's why I messed up these are mediums. I'm just gonna try them both to see which one fits me and then whichever one doesn't, I'm gonna return. But they just have extra padding in the back of your foot just so that your foot doesn't like rub up against it, which is very, very nice. And I also just like needed new socks in general. So that is my very big haul. I don't know what part I'm most excited about. Maybe the perfume. I think the packaging, it's so cute. I love it. Okay, so I'm really happy with everything that I got. Yay! Good morning, happy Friday, everyone. Happy International Women's Day. I wanted to like kind of vlog while I was getting ready for my birthday dinner last night, but that did not happen because I showered and then one of my team members called me and was like, hey, can I call you really quick on Teams? And then that went long. So I was like speed rushing to get ready. I was like dripping in sweat. You know when you're running around getting ready and then you're just like dripping in sweat? That's how I was. So I didn't have time to vlog and kind of like update you guys on everything. So I thought I'd give you guys a little recap of my birthday dinner. It was gonna be my whole family, but it ended up just being me and my mom. We went to a restaurant called Maple and Ash. Fun fact, I don't know if I've said this. When I was interviewing for jobs, Maple and Ash was my second choice. I had an interview with them the day that I got my job offered for my current job and I decided that I wanted my current job more than I wanted the job at Maple and Ash. It was for their social media manager, for like their corporate. So I could have worked there at corporate, fun fact. But I decided that I wanted the job that I have now because there's more opportunity to learn different things and not be kind of pinholed into social media. I wanted to learn more marketing as a whole. Also, I self tanned last night. That's why my hands are oh god they're much worse than i thought they were so we went there it was really cool i saw someone that like someone that works there went to my was at my sorority and i was like oh my god hi what else what else what else we got a seafood tower and then my mom and i shared like a steak they gave us a bunch of free stuff they gave us like a free like welcome cocktail which i think they probably do for everybody it was a prickly pear martini if you don't know prickly pear is like a cactus it's like a arizona thing a prickly pear margarita is like my favorite flavor of margarita it is so good and then they gave us a free mashed potato it was really good they also have these menus i have it in my living room now my mom like made a comment to the waitress said it was my birthday and she was like wait what's your name and then they like it says like happy fucking birthday on it it was really cool i went home my mom has a bunch of boxes for me that like gets delivered to her house at our pr and then also my birthday gift so those are all in my car because it was pouring rain so we didn't want to bring those up when it was raining so they're just in my car right now we just moved them from her car to my car and then this morning i've been doing work i self tanned last night i had like nightmares about work last night because there was like an international women's day post for my job and it was just a bunch of work that like went into it and like it wasn't like finalized by the time i with the sleep and just like different time zones and all this stuff but it was taken care of and it all went well and it was such a relief because i woke up in like a panic being like oh my god this pose like this has to be perfect like ah uh. and it all worked out guys except for the only thing that didn't work out was my hands yikes like this one hand i feel like is much darker no, maybe not we include my whole body does that no tonight i'm going to top golf with some of my friends that should be really exciting and then saturday i'm doing my little birthday thing with my friends i couldn't decide what dinner place i wanted to there was 
three places that I was trying to decide between. I'll tell you guys all of them. The first one is called Kala. It's like in a hotel and it's like a very like aesthetic boho vibe. I've been there once for brunch and it was really good, but it was the most expensive option and it was like high 20s to high 30s for like entrees. And I just felt like I was like, that's like a lot of money to expect my friends to pay. So I didn't choose that one. The next one was called the Beverly, which is where we're deciding to go to. The only time they had for reservations was 6 p.m. So we got a 6 p.m. reservation. It's like a cocktail lounge bar, which is really cool. And then the last place was called Olive and Ivy, which is just like, I think it's like an American fusion restaurant. I don't know. I've been there once and it was pretty good, but we decided to go to the Beverly because I was with my mom and we were kind of like talking through which ones we should make a reservation for me and my friends. And I wanted to call it the most, but it was the most expensive and I just felt too guilty choosing that one. So I was like, okay, I want to go to the Beverly. So we have a reservation at 6 p.m. there tomorrow. And then we're probably going to like go to like our bars and just like hop around after that. But that's that's the update. I am like trying to slowly clean my apartment because I said I would host people for like a pregame here before we go to dinner tomorrow. And also I think people are probably gonna come here before Top Golf today. So I need to clean up. I've been cleaning up a little bit, like taking out my trash and like doing stuff like that. But I definitely want to give it a good scrub. I'm officially 24 years old. I have entered my mid twenties. That is insane. I'm 24 years old. <laughs> I've actually, I think I've said this in the past, but I've been like wanting to be 24 for like a couple months now, just cause I feel like I probably said this early in the vlog. I should just stop talking. 24 just sounds so much cooler than 23. But yeah, that was my night. It wasn't too like eventful or anything. I always wish I was born like a day later because like being born on International Women's Day would have been like so cool. But that's my update now. I have an audio message that I need to listen to one of my friends that she sent me. But yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't get like really update you guys yesterday. I wanted to. I just didn't have the time to just with like rushing. I really want to go to the gym today during my lunch break. I also, I don't know if anyone else does this. This is like a bad habit of mine. I always eat my leftovers from restaurants for breakfast breakfast like even if they're dinner leftovers I always eat them for breakfast why I don't know I think like a fried rice leftover for breakfast hits so hard we didn't get fried rice we got a seafood tower steak free mashed potatoes and we got mushrooms which was really nice what else oh we also got my mom got wine and I got like a little like tequila cocktail it was very cool it was very it was very nice but that's the update for now I need to kind of get back to work and everything and I do want to go to the gym but I just washed myself tanner off so I don't feel like going to the gym right now but yeah anyways okay I'm gonna shut up but that's that's all for now I just went on a little walk and then I changed these are the running shorts that I got I'm wondering if I need like a slightly smaller size because I feel like the kind of like shorts in these are They're not loose, but they're not tight So I'm just afraid of walking around that they're gonna run up and the whole point of me getting them was what my legs don't like chafe You know because the little flaps are very short as well So if I'm like walking enough, it's definitely gonna cause some problems So I'm gonna see but I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I ate all the crispy wontons that I got got earlier this week so i want to get some more and then i want to get a couple more things so we're just gonna go it's like three grocery trips this week but we're gonna we're gonna do it and so if i do it now then i won't have to do it later this week weekend but this baby tea is from abercrombie these are from amazon and yeah this is what we got going on also i wanted to mention on my way to the grocery store i'm gonna drop off my ballot is there any of my personal information on this i have no idea how, on the front however make sure you guys are registered to vote if you're not already this is for the primary election vote 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 whoever you vote for just vote vote for who represents you best. But yeah, I'm gonna go drop off my little primary ballot. I'm excited for it. Yay! Voting is your constitutional right and you should do it every election. We got our like 10th grocery haul of the week, but before I do that, I have a couple of things. These socks, the Felicity ones or whatever, Fel oh gosh, Felicigili way too big. These socks are like huge. So we're returning those. These other ones were also too big. So I think I'm going to order them in a smaller size. The Seller Sports ones. Another update. I hate these running shorts. They roll up like this, like within like two seconds of walking. And I pulled them down like 20 times. Not a fan of them. But I was like, I just want to like go to the grocery store, see if I like them. If I can't see in 10 minutes in them at a grocery store, then I'm returning them. And so I'm returning them. Also another, these are all housekeeping things. This is, the tag is now poking into me. This is a little menu that I got. For my birthday. I'm going to take these freaking running shorts off. Also, my little I voted sticker. So cute. Okay, now we're finally getting on to the grocery haul. I want to start making egg bites again. So I got some eggs to make egg bites. And then I also got, so I, last time I did like ham and cheese, but I think that I want to do vegetables in it. So I got green bell pepper because green is the cheapest one. Why? I have no idea. And then I also got an onion for it as well. So they didn't have no boiled noodles still. So I was like, I was hoping that they would just be out that day, but it seems like they're out in general. So I got these 
nice Thai wheat noodles, which I hope are just as good. We will find out. And then I got three things, three of the jalapeno and cream cheese crispy wontons, because these things are absolutely fire. They're so, 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 so good. Last but not least, I got some garlic because I was running out of my garlic. So I think that I'm gonna make some dinner, which is gonna be like that vegetable stir fry. I'll show you guys how I make it. I need to change out of these running shorts because I'm gonna chuck them at a wall because they keep chafing. I also really need to clean my apartment. It's just like, I'll show it to you. It's just like very overwhelming right now, in my opinion. I think whenever I have my walking pad and then the desk riser out, it just feels cluttered. This doesn't look that great. This doesn't look that great, but it's mainly like the kitchen island that is the worst. I'm gonna put my groceries away, put this up away, and hopefully that'll make it better. We are starting this, so I added some onions first, and now I'm sauteing some mushrooms with it. This is all going to be like a little one pot thing because, oh, this is, I'm struggling because I'm not gonna do the teriyaki chicken like I did last time from Trader Joe's. The mushrooms, or the onions keep sticking to this. I'm going to do this chicken, which honestly was really gross and bland, but like what, what was to be expected? So hopefully that like all the sauces and stuff that I put in it are going to make it taste better, but really I'm just heating it up in there. I think I'm gonna throw this in the microwave right now. How long do we put it in for? Four to five minutes, so I always like to do the lower half of it because it's gonna get a little bit more cooked in here so let's do four minutes and we're gonna get all this going i'm gonna move everything to one side then i'm gonna add a little bit of sesame oil to kind of make the pan still grease and then we're gonna throw in the chicken kind of heat that up and then we're gonna add in the noodles and the sauce this is like all just kind of like waiting how it goes like i have no idea if this is gonna turn out well i didn't add chicken last time but i wanted to have chicken with no flavor so i can have the flavor of the sauces but honestly if, if this doesn't turn out well i'm probably never gonna make this like crock pot chicken again because <laughs> it just it smells gross i'm already like this is not a good idea but it is what it is and we're figuring this out as we go together i'm kind of getting it in the sesame oil so hopefully that's kind of gonna have like an extra toastiness to it because sesame oil is kind of toastier i think that i want to add the noodles and the sauce now i'm gonna mix the chicken up with it the vegetables this is what it looks like is it good i have no idea this says add to a skillet with half a tablespoon of cooking oil and heat for two minutes let's figure this out i'm going to add all of the sauces while i add this throwing this in it's like one like stuck it's like a clump of noodle setting that right in the center and then let's start with our sauces okay so we're gonna do soy sauce soy sauce is the main ingredient in all of this so we're really just gonna coat it with the soy and then we're gonna bring in some of this gyoza sauce i really like this it's a gyoza dipping sauce but it adds like some sweetness i don't love how salty soy sauce is but i also don't like coconut aminos which is like i think a gluten-free version of it but it's supposed to be sweeter or it is a little bit sweeter I'm gonna add some rice vinegar i think in my mind this adds like some like acidity to it but i could be completely wrong and then i'm gonna add some honey as well to make it a little bit sweeter and then i might throw in some more sesame oil if i feel it is necessary i love sesame oil so much and then we're just gonna start mixing it all up the noodles are not like breaking down i think i'm also gonna throw in the vegetable noodles while we're here and then probably my i have a little bit of leftover broccoli i don't want to do all of these noodles because it's a lot so we'll just it's really hot it's a really hot bag we'll just do like half of this bag if they'll come out it's really hot so i don't want to touch any more of it maybe if i like spoon it out fork it out come out what the heck i need to make the opening slightly bigger okay everything's starting to kind of like boil and get yummy i also saw trader joe's had miso bro okay that was way too much miso broth which I thought that could be good in this. I have miso paste, but and then we're gonna add cold broccoli. And then I'm thinking, should I add the spinach in here now? Because I want to add spinach. Hold it open. I've never seen a tab like this before in spinach. The thing is, it's not even opening. Hello? What's the point of having one of these tabs if they don't work? Maybe it is working. This is so much more complicated than it needed to be. Okay, cool. I might add spinach at the last second. The noodles are not like breaking down, which is, in my opinion, not a good sign. Okay, now they are. Now they are. Now they are. I think the shredded chicken is gonna give us like a really weird texture, if I'm being honest. I don't think that was a good idea. I was just like, oh, I can like sneak some protein in this. I think I need more sauce. Like this looks very lacking flavor right now. Let me show you guys what this looks like. It does not look that appetizing. This looks very disgusting. Can we remedy this? Let's find out. More soy sauce. This whole bottle's about to be gone. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Oh, hot, that's hot. I just burnt myself on the little like vegetable bag. More gyoza sauce. Fuck it, I'm doing some sesame oil because I just love sesame oil. I'm gonna mix it all together. The chicken looks gross in this. I'm not a fan of this. Like, I haven't even tasted it yet, so maybe I need to give it a break. But at the moment, this is not yummy. Should I try a noodle? Are the noodles even done? Has it been two minutes? I, I didn't even look at the clock. Okay, let's try it. 
I don't like it. I do not like that. And we're just gonna keep adding to it. Okay, spinach time. I wanna add quite a bit of spinach because it just, it wilts into nothing. I'm hoping the more I kind of let this all sit, the more like the flavors will absorb. I made this before and it was delicious, just like a different noodle. The noodles and the chicken, I'm disappointed in myself, honestly. Wilt, wilt. It honestly doesn't look that bad, but I feel like it doesn't smell that good, which is kind of my red flag. I just ate it. I didn't love the noodles in it. Also, I feel like my face is like overheating. Like what is going on here? But I wasn't the biggest fan of the noodles. That's my consensus. I wouldn't buy those noodles again, but however, I do have two packages left of them. So eh, I'm, not, I'm not in love. 